gentlemen, and today we are going to be talking about Star Wars The Force Awakens. And in honor of Star Wars The Force Awakens, I've got a couple of little bobbleheads here. We've got a little bit of Han Solo just bobbling around. And we've got the ever-adorable Wicket. Now, <clears throat> there will not be any spoilers in this review. We're going to just talk about, in general, some of the things that were really awesome. Some of the things that really made Star Wars The Force Awakens what we were looking for in a Star Wars film in these sequels because inevitably they're going to be compared to the original trilogy and the prequels and the prequels have well they have some good things about them there was so much done in them that was less than uh, <laughs> beneficial to the Star Wars series um, and in turn it kind of reflects on the entire six film franchise up until now uh, one of the things that I think J.J. Abrams did a wonderful job doing with this new Star Wars film is instead of relying wholly on CGI and special effects as uh, George Lucas did in the first original trilogy, or not original trilogy, the first three movies, one, two, and three, and then went back and edited it in to the original trilogy, there are many more practical effects used. So the puppets for the aliens, which, in addition to just being puppets instead of CGI'd in, there's such a diversity in aliens in this film, and diversity in just like races, in genders, in aliens. It's magnificent. It's something that I think the uh, the prequels and even the uh, original trilogy was lacking is that sense of diversity and seeing everything in this galaxy and in this universe. So you've got various aliens, even in the Resistance, there's so many more aliens who have integral parts from being fighter pilots to being soldiers on the ground. It's wonderful. Um, and then genders, you've got some female fighter pilots in this one, which I think is wonderful. Um, and of course, Rey, one of the protagonists, almost the main protagonist, is female which is wonderful and you get introduced to her fairly early on whereas even in the original trilogy you don't see Leia until halfway through the first movie and even then she's a damsel in distress Rey is never really the damsel in distress she can take care of herself which is wonderful um and then just uh other things that went well or that I thought were good is how they infused humor so they really did a good job of infusing humor into this film in ways that felt organic and natural and yet really make you laugh and really make you enjoy the film. It, Even though it is a morality tale about the light side versus the dark side and they're really playing that up, they do a good job of lightening the mood at times with humor and it's that humor that I think really gives The Force Awakens its charm and really sets it apart from the other uh, six films in the series. Um, and it's something that I think audiences have really moved towards uh, here in the second decade of the 21st century, uh, especially after Guardians of the Galaxy was such a big hit with the humor. Um, and while it's not as overt as Guardians of the Galaxy, it's not like uh, as consistent running through, it strikes a nice balance between the two. Um, also, what this movie did well is it really plays into the nostalgia factor because you've got Han, Leia, uh, Luke, all these things, C-3PO, R2-D2, all these characters coming back. It does a great job of introducing them slowly so each one has meaning and impact for the audience. Um, and so as you start seeing them, it's never like anyone is beating you over the head with this nostalgia factor. It's just there and it's able to be enjoyed rather than saying look see see it's it's the thing from the old movie it's it's that thing that that we had and you should recognize it and enjoy it it's like no it's it's organically brought in it's laid out in a well thought out manner so that you can enjoy it um and also this movie is everything that you love about star wars and more it's got the lightsaber fights it's got the the uh, aerial combat with the planes it's got that really great villainous side of it the dark side is there and it's as intimidating as ever it's got that mystery as who are these characters and and why are they important um well at the same time providing you 
with that light side, which doesn't, which is still shrouded in some mystery, but character-wise, you can start to make the connections. Whereas there's still some, like, but the movie does a great job of leaving you wanting more. Even the last scene leaves you sitting there wanting to know what's going to happen next, which is a really brilliant move because. It's two years till the next movie, um, so they're leaving you wanting more, and it's going to just foster this discussion for the next two years. And it may drop off in the middle there for a couple of months, but then it's going to come right back once you get the first teaser trailer for episode eight. So they did a really good job just building this and building this film. Um, and everything builds up, and it feels like it moves in an organic way, <coughs> and it makes it makes a lot of sense in the way the storytelling is done. Um, plus, you get a lot of characters that may have been mentioned in the original trilogy that you never saw that are really awesome. So my favorite character wasn't in the original trilogy or the prequels, uh, but comes in halfway through this new movie and is wonderful. And she was mentioned in the original trilogy. So they do a great job of just pulling everything you want from this universe together and making it work in an organic way. So it is everything that I wanted and more. I left being more excited about it than I went into the movie. Um, and I went into the movie fairly excited about it, but I had just come off watching the Deadpool trailer, and so Deadpool is, is where that energy for me was at the time. But now I am so excited to see where we're going to go with this new trilogy, where we're going to go with episode uh, eight. So. I strongly suggest going to see this film. It is exciting. It's a lot of fun. It didn't drag anywhere. It felt very energetic and very uh, and very all-encompassing. It really, really draws you in and helps with that suspension of disbelief. So, if you're in the mood for finding something to watch here while it's still in theaters, because I strongly suggest seeing it in theaters just for that big pictureness uh, that you can get from a uh, movie theater over your 40 inch TV, your 37 inch TV, your 18 inch computer screen, whatever it is you may watch things on. Uh, please go see it, especially if you love Star Wars. I'm sure if you love Star Wars you've probably already seen it, but it is worth your time. It is a great look at what can be done if you're willing to take some time and do a film well. So if you enjoyed this Please give us a like, comment, subscribe. We're going to try and keep bringing out some more reviews as we watch things. And I'm still looking at bringing some reviews of all the films out as well. Or maybe not reviews, but film discussions. So, we do hope you did enjoy this. And if you did, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And ladies and gentlemen, have a good one.